Hi, today I'll be saying goodbye to my blonde hair because I am finally going back to my roots. Literally. After a year and a half of being blonde, I have decided to go back to my natural color, which is brown. Being blonde has taken an extreme toll on my hair more than when I had started. I have a lot of breakage. Although my hair is considerably healthy, that doesn't mean you can't have breakage. And I am ready to move past the bleach and go on towards a completely different look. Here's a disclaimer before I start, because you guys love those. Everything in this video has been thoroughly researched and I have gotten advice from a professional who was willing to help me. I know exactly what I am doing even though I am not a licensed hairstylist. I have worked with color and peroxide before, therefore I know how to handle these chemicals which can be very dangerous, so please be careful. I do not recommend doing this unless you have done extensive research and gotten professional advice like I have. I might make a mistake and say something totally wrong, but then again I am not a professional. Going from blonde to brown is pretty much the exact same process you would normally pass through when going from brown to blonde. So normally you would pass a couple of stages, right? We all know that you can't just go from black to white. You have to go through the red phase, then your hair has to go through the orange phase, the yellow phase, the blonde phase, and finally the platinum phase. And so if you want to go back to brown, you need to fill the hair and add in all of those pigments we have removed, such as the red, the orange, and the yellow. Or then if you just dye the hair brown or black, it's going to be really splotchy and dull and will result in a really flat, uneven color. This will ensure a smooth foundation as it will be filling in the gaps inside the hair as well as giving back its pigment. So it will have a sort of three-dimensional shine and the color will shift in light instead of just looking, you know, gray and green and really gross. So he guessed it. I'll be coloring my hair orange or slash copper before I go brown. So in order to color my hair copper, I'm going to be mixing this brand, which is called Pura Cosmetica. It is a professional grade hair color, which was given to me by a stylist. So I'm not really sure if you can get it yourself, but I'll be using the shade 84, which is light copper blonde because the, that was the only one they had. And it's not really orangey. It's like an orange copper which I'm fine with. I just want some orange tones back in my hair. This product is going to immediately tint my hair. Therefore, I need a low amount of peroxide. So I'll be mixing it with only 10 volume. I tried doing a strand test on an extension, a piece of extension of human hair I had with five volume and it didn't darken as much as I wanted it to. So I'm going for 10. This way it will not lift the hair simply deposit pigment. The mixing ratio is 1 is to 1.5 and so I'm just going to mix the color. So for this color application I am mixing in 32 grams of the permanent color with 48 grams of 10 volt peroxide so 3% that way we have a 1 is to 1.5 ratio. I'm going to mix that super well in an applicator bottle, do use an applicator bottle, it is the easiest way to apply color, my friends. Since the mixture is going to be super liquidy, this is going to ensure a super precise and even application, and do use gloves as well. After that, I'm going to apply it roots to ends, and I'm going to let that sit for 30 to 45 minutes, and rinse it out and move on to step two. Okay, so this is what we're working with. It's really nice, it's amazing, but it's not what I'm going for. Kind of want to rock this look right now, but this is why I'm going dark in the first place. So I actually ended up letting this sit for, I think, just eight minutes because I don't want it to be super dark. This is like perfect. And Especially since the color I'm using is not technically brown, it's the name is blonde. I'm kind of worried it's not going to cover it. But on to the next step. I want to permanently color my hair darker. So I will be using a permanent color. For this, I will be using a box dye. Say what you want about box dye. It's 
literally permanent color in a box. It is a kit which is supposed to make coloring your hair at home easier. Therefore, there is a reason after this. So there is no need to bash it so much like the internet loves to do. I am using this product right here. It's the Schwarzkopf palette line, the Oleo Intense in the shade Chestnut Blonde. And on the back, as you can see, it shows you the colors it's supposed to be. And from blonde, as you can see, it's pretty light. It's not that much of a difference. So I needed the copper, so now it will be a bit darker, right? Now, according to my research, box color is targeted towards audiences who typically have gray hair. Therefore, to cover the gray hair, the level of peroxide tends to be stronger, so about 20 volume. And we don't need that, we just need to cover it, we don't need to lift the hair. For blonde hair, you only need 5 to 10 volume. And now since my hair is copper, I am going to go for 10 volume. This way, like I said before, it's not lifting the hair but depositing pigment inside of it. Therefore, I would need to dilute it. And since the peroxide that comes with the kit is typically around 20 volt, I am going to dilute it. And with that, I'm going to be using a simple formula that I've been using ever since coloring my own hair. I've already diluted it here. You start by taking the number of the volume of peroxide you have. So let's say here I have a bottle of 40 vol. And then you subtract the number of the volume that you want. So let's say I want a 10 vol from this. I'm going to do 40 minus 10, which is 30. Now we're going to completely forget about the first number because we do not need that and focus on the last two, which is 10 and 30. We're going to simplify that which makes it 1 is to 3, which is going to be our mixing ratio. So in order to turn a bottle of 40 vol, this is how many? This is 60 mils. We are going to add triple the amount of water because we're going to add 3 parts water to 1 part peroxide. So therefore, this is 60 mils and we need to add an additional 180 mils in order to turn it into 10 vol. And that is the formula I've always been using when it comes to coloring my hair. Box color tends to be frowned upon because usually of its ammonia content, but that goes for most colors out there. It's literally a kit with everything you need inside of it and you don't need to measure anything, you just mix everything together so it's that simple and you don't even need to use it that many times since it's permanent. So now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be mixing up my box color and sectioning out my hair. I left it quite damp as you can see because I was suggested to do that and this time, to the second application, I'm going to mix a small amount of Olaplex number no. 1 bond multiplier. This you cannot get unless you are a professional hairstylist, but when the internet exists, anything is possible. I got a really tiny amount, as you can see, because this stuff is pricey and you only need a tiny amount. I asked two hairstylists who were willing to help me out. One told me I can mix a 1 to 1 ratio, so let's say 6 mils for every 60 grams of color, but the other told me I need to mix 10, um, 10 mils for every 60 grams of color, and then if I go over that number, I need to add another 10 mils. But I don't think I have enough, so I'll go with the 1 to 1 ratio. The kit itself comes with an applicator bottle filled with 50 mils of peroxide, which I have diluted already, and 50 grams of hair color, so just mix the two together. It also comes with gloves, instructions, and a pack of conditioner. So we're gonna mix these up. I'm also going to add in a small amount of Olaplex number no. one bond multiplier. This is a product that when applied to your hair will search for and repair the broken bonds in your hair, which is such a great concept. Okay, I am going to let this sit in my hair for at least 30 to a maximum of 45 minutes. If it's not as dark as I want it, I'll go in with a third color. But yeah, I will see you soon. So here's what we're working with now. 
The color is beyond gorgeous. As you can see, it's still technically a blonde. And now, this step is optional, however, but I do want to blend the roots to the rest of my hair. Although I don't have a black color, I'm going to be using something similar. So I'm using the same brand I used before, which is this one. And this one, I'm using the shade 57 Light Cocoa Chestnut, which looks like this on the color chart. And you can still see my roots. I did dilute the developer again because I don't want to color my roots. I just want to blend in and make a gradient from my natural roots to the rest of the hair. So that way I can transition. So this is sort of like creating a shadow root, you could say. I'm just going to be applying the color on my actual roots and blending it down. And I left my hair damp often more than the previous time to make blending easier and also it was recommended. Some color brands do not recommend doing this so make sure you research everything like I said before and yeah let's do it. Here I mixed in uh, around 94 mils of 10 vol peroxide uh, 6 mils of Olaplex number one bond multiplier and 60 to 60 grams of the color. And I'm just going to just blend it down. I am going to wash my hair with my regular shampoo and here I have some Olaplex number two which is like the step two of the treatment and you just rinse out the hair color and apply it as a conditioner. Let it sit for 10 minutes and rinse it out. I'm going to let this sit for another 30 minutes, rinse it out and then style it and show you the finished result. I cannot wait. Okay, are you guys ready? I don't think you are. <laughs> what do you guys think? Here is what I look like with brown hair. This is the exact color I wanted with the roots. Everything. This is just how I wanted it to look like. And as you can see my hair looks much shinier thanks to the Olaplex and all the oil I have in it but this is thanks to those three steps I did as well as the Olaplex and the color I used so yeah okay so right now it's 10 40 and I started around 7 so wow this took almost four hours it felt like it took only like two hours though because I've been like running around and every time the timer rings I'm like oh it's done and yeah that is what I look like with brown hair. This isn't my natural color. My natural color is very dark. And to my surprise, the roots did lift a little bit, which I don't mind because now they, they're blending in more. My natural color is somewhere around here. It's very dark. And this color is gorgeous. And it's perfect. It is officially the end of an era. Uh, my blonde crackhead phase is over. Maybe it'll come back in a few years. Who knows? So there you have it guys, that was my little transformation going from blonde to brown after a year and a half of being platinum blonde. It's pretty much the same process as going from brown to blonde, but the exact like contrary is like reversed. Please let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't, if you have some tips, I would love to know in the comments below. As always, you can find me on Instagram at marzi 2 rs 2 s and I'll see you very soon for another video. Wow, that was very enthusiastic. <laughs> Bye guys.